Yes. cleaner out here. Alright, we're empty there. Set this guy down. We'll pull that guy right in front of it. How's that sound? That sounds awesome, Michael. Oh, might be a little too close. Might be a little too close. A little bit. Hold steady right there. Right there. All right. And we'll get eight four one seven four two. All right. Right. Yeah. Good deal. Did I say happy, happy Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, it's all good, isn't it? It's all good. Tell you what though, see baby Michael struggles when coming back from his time off. Get on up into there, dummy. There we go. Give a little tuggy-wuggy. I'm sure folks can relate. You know. Who wants to who wants to come back from flipping days off? Nobody. <laughs> I'll pull this forward a little bit. Pull this forward just a smidge. All right. Blue to blue. All right. Red to red. Cool. Juice. I got a text. I don't know who that text is from, though. Probably those silly geese telling me something. Terrible time. I don't know how all that's going to work out this week. Got to be better than the past two Tuesdays. You know what I'm saying? Past two Tuesdays have sucked. set a bad precedent for the rest of the week, man. So I am definitely not wanting to repeat all that mess. Not at all. So, let us Drag this on over and hook these two up. You know what I mean? Get out of the way. <laughs> That's the bit Michael says. Never get away, bro. I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Yeah, man. All right there, buddy. Michael, what's that? There you go. Come on, bro. Him first. That's those stupid new Baltimore dummy. Look at that fat boy. Michael don't like that, does he? Nope. Nope. Not at all. There we go. Got up in there like so. Almost. Almost. Almost, buddy. I'll straighten this bad whip as soon as this turret gets out of my way. Come on. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Only one little bit of a pull up, man. We almost scooched that thing over 
too perfect. There you go. Let's see how close we can get without being too close, right? Let's take a look. See what's up. All right there in it. <sighs> All of our lights are on that one, so that's good. Put that up there. Another one. Another one. Right in there. There's that guy. Check it out, dude. Our chains are long enough. How about that? We ain't got them shorties. Pretty good, yeah. And we should be good to just shove that turd right underneath it. So, let's do just that. Yeah. All right. A little humid out there today. You know? There we go. Get it? Love it. Get a little tug, right? A little tug. There we go. Alright. Wasn't too bad. Alright. Now we'll just pray that all these uh all these lights work. Alright? Like we're all up in there, but we'll plug our stuff in so we can double check our lights. Yeah, to guys off. Red to red, son. Let the noise is irritating. Huh. There we go. Out of there. All right, I hear everything activating, which is good. Got to stop this incessant noise, though. Stress me out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, this trailer should be all good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Everything's doing what it should be doing. That terrible flipping noise is off. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna crank this up. I'm gonna check and make sure our dolly is secure to the rear trailer. I'm gonna pull this turd set forward. Here we go. And then punch on my digits in, give it a good inspect, and then we'll check back in more on our way, dude. All right, Let's see if Baby Michael will be right back. Next to you. All right, we are on our way, man. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. It's actually not too bad. We got there, what, 9.30? Yeah, man, I don't even think that's any, uh, is that about the same as Saturday? Yeah, I stopped and got the, uh, look at this turd. Uh, come on, brother. We got all kinds of meeting of the minds here. These two obese turds right here. Get out of the way. I'm gonna get out of the road, buddy. Get out of the way! Flipping brightest, brightest, <laughs> brightest bulbs in the pack, dude. We'll get out in front of this dude. He's gonna try it. That ain't happening. No. All right. So we Michael setting the stage for a successful day. Look at his people, man. <laughs> Look at him. Woo! Go get another milkshake, big boy. Man. 
big gulp or something over there. It's making everybody unable to regulate. Man, they got the warning, start putting warning labels on food, man. Or on what, food's kind of the wrong word. Well, maybe food. They poisoned our food so much that, man, a lot of it needs to, like that crap over there, Starbucks needs to come with a flipping warning label. Seriously, you gotta put it on cigarettes and alcohol. Put it on that stuff. Kills just as many people. So I'm gonna start my day off right with a 500 calorie artery clogging. <sighs> Milkshake. But it's coffee. All right. Whatever. So yeah, we got out of there pretty, pretty quickly, dude. Considering, considering I came down later, so I'm much rather am happier at leaving at a uh, pulling out of there at 9:35 than 8:45 or 8:50 or even nine. Yeah, let's leave it about a half hour later. If I if I have to change it to 10, I may have to. But we'll see how this works out. I'm I'm happy with this. Uh, I'm happy with this departure time. If I if I have to shove it back a little bit, well, that's okay. But I am fully satisfied with the time I left the house today um, and taking my time, not being rushed. It's showing me that I have more time than what I thought, especially you know, all things concerned with what time these turds get up here. So yeah, man. Ooh, window cleaning, brother. Hey, no way. Would never do that. Can't do it. So yes, yeah, so what does this price say? What one fifteen maybe? It's still not even that late. Not at all. Let's see. Somebody says. Continue on I seventy one. All right, one seventeen. Yeah, man. So we'll get there about what. 110. That's a good day. It's actually better than yesterday. Or better than Saturday. So yeah, man. I'm good. It'll be a nice day today, I think. And then I think it's gonna rain tonight and tomorrow. So we might be running in the rain tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. As long as it ain't storming. It'll be alright. But if I gotta go hit that stupid treadmill, I guess I will. Whatever. We'll make do. Alright. Let me get into my uh, morning snacks here get situated get on through oh, Columbus here and we'll check back in after the uh, first break and see if we got any breaking news from the uh, silly geese on the other end peace all right so got a text from oh goofball Said he was in a. This was about an hour ago. About 9:30. Said he was in Wilkesbury. Uh, excuse me. Said there was a little traffic, but he should be there about 1:30. Which, according to my calculations now, at 10:30 or almost 10:30, is about about four hours away. The distance to Barkeyville from Wilkes-Barre is four hours, so an hour ago. So 9.30 to 1.30 is about about right. So, yeah, man, we get up there about between one, about 1.12. So by the time I get fueled up, drop this set off, shouldn't have to wait too long for them to arrive. So I think we, uh, Continue on I-71. We did good not trying to get there at uh, 12.30 today. Otherwise, we'd been sitting around for an hour. So, right on. Man, the clouds over there are weird looking. It's going to rain, dude. Man, it ain't supposed to rain just yet. It's not supposed to rain till this afternoon. But, uh, them's rain clouds, buddy. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, I'm going to check that phone system, dude. You already know I'm going to check it. And we're going to see what uh, kind of silly news is on there if any and then uh hey yeah, man we'll check back in no snack dude peace all right <clears throat> all right 
this is the second of two uh, slowdowns for construction. Not really sure what they were doing back there at the um, Ohio-Pennsylvania line. I couldn't tell why the uh, right lane was shut down um, because they weren't. <laughs> it didn't appear they were doing anything. But uh, that's that. So we probably won't get up to uh, to the truck stops about 140. Is my guess. The worst part about these uh, slowdowns on I-80 here is just getting to the point where the uh, lane is closed down. Uh, once you're in that, like you just creep on through. Like right here, see it's all it's moving now. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a stretch. What we got? What's the mile markers? Yeah, there's a. It's all, actually it's two miles. Two miles of uh, of right lane closed, but. It's a 20 plus minute slowdown just to to do it. It's always that way. And they always do this in the summertime. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing. It's my uh, what, second or third summer through here. Second full summer. Actually, second summer. Uh, so yeah, I noticed last year they were they did the they did a lot of this during the summer. Um, so this should run this week. So I, I will probably encounter this every day. They said it for some nighttime stuff, but as what PA511 says, which is actually pretty good. They were a little vague on this though. Um, so yeah, so taking a look here, I don't know what, what they're doing on the right lane. Maybe bridge work. maybe like I said the worst part is just getting like this is fine I don't know why it's so why it slows down so much to uh, like when the actual lane when you're in the part where the lane is closed down like we're rolling along what 36 miles an hour awesome but you uh, jam way up in the preceding two miles to it so instead of it being a two mile issue it's a four mile issue and the first two miles of it is like stop and go. This here, we're just rolling right along. 30 miles an hour, what have you. It's all good. Yes, yeah, so what are these guys doing here? What we got going on? I might be working on this bridge, dude. If that's the case, I get it. Last time they were working on this bridge, or one of these bridges, they didn't. The, uh, it was kind of a surprise lane closure, dude. Look at this, dude. What you doing, big boy? Well, come on out, stupid. What are they doing? <laughs> uh, she, yeah, all right. That's a pretty big, uh, pretty big undertaking there. I get it. Get out of the way, water man. He's pulled right out in front of me. Big dummy. Mm-hmm. I got honked at too earlier with the slowdown by this stupid uh flipping Amazon driver of all people. I guess he felt I cut him off. He kept trying it was just stupid driving. <laughs> I mean I don't know. He was just driving too fast for conditions, I think. I certainly wasn't trying to cut anybody off. But I didn't really cut him off. He just didn't like the fact that I had moved over in front of him. I had my signal on well ahead of time and everything, and he had plenty of room. He just got agitated. He blew his horn at me. It's like, dude, the lane's closed. It's just one of those things where he wanted to be in front. He's a few trucks up there. I mean, he probably got five trucks ahead maybe six, seven, whatever, but he's not really any far ahead time-wise. So, all right, brother, go ahead. Yeah, man, so we'll get up there a little bit before 140, so they'll probably just have been rolling in anyway, dude. So, all right, cool. We'll check back in once we're, uh, once we're ready to head back, dude. Peace. Woo, buddy. 
what we got? Three miles. Three miles to Barkerville. Pulling about 137. Hopefully that turret will be there. Who knows though? Who really knows? That was almost a 30 minute delay back there, man. If we're being flipping honest about it. 25 minutes, something like that, between the two of them. Still don't know what they were doing at the flipping Ohio PA border. It was real apparent there what they were doing at the other place. Uh, big old chunks of road out. That might actually be fixed tomorrow. Uh, but the uh, like I said, PA 511 said there were, uh, it said nighttime working. Maybe this was some sort of uh, you know, unplanned repair or something. Or maybe they found something overnight or something. I don't know. Who knows? Don't drop these two silly trailers off. I gotta flip the P, dude. The rain is coming. We gonna get it on the way back. I told you I'm going to, lady. They must have had some storms come through here. Maybe yesterday, or maybe maybe on uh, maybe uh, Sunday. We have this storm down at home. Down in Columbus, down at home. <laughs> I don't know. I see some trees down, dude. Who knows? Who knows? Benango. The borough of Barkyville. So Barkyville's a borough. Alright. Is that a new sign? Borough of Barkyville? Questions, sweet baby Michael, and no flipping answers. Borough. Are there boroughs in Ohio? I don't think so. Must be some uh, some Pennsylvania thing. Who else has boroughs? New York. Take exit 29 on the right to Pennsylvania 8 South. Hmm. I don't know. I want to do a little PA history read. Honestly. Got pee, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the borough of Barkyville, or the outskirts of the borough of Barkyville. At the end of the street, uh -huh. turn right. All right. All right. Keep PA beautiful. Do not litter. Ain't a whole lot of litter on this exit. Not really. Not really. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Don't be a turd and get out of the way. All right. Here we go. Let's get this show on the flipping road, dude. Here's the old PGA Tour truck. One quarter mile, arrive at 5644 Highway Where'd they just play on at? the right. I don't know. There's the old state trooper getting some fuel. I don't know. I'll see you guys. I see you. I don't see my guys. They might be here. I don't know. Procter and Gamble. Look the flips down there. Yeah, they're probably down there. Probably waiting. Oh, let's see if we can get on around here. It's always That's silly geese. You wait a minute, buddy. Wait a minute. Here comes Michael. Michael's coming. <laughs> Everybody's always working on their trucks here at the old Barkyville truck stop. Alright, where's my spot at? Scooch on up in here. Find me a spot, and I'll be back, dude. B. RB. <laughs> Alright, man, so we are, uh, we are on our way back. We had to wait about, ah, uh, what we wait for them? About 45 minutes? Yeah, so they were late. 
I mean, duh. <laughs> Every F word flipping day they are, man. I hate that guy. Let me just say that I do not like him. And my reasons are myriad, man. I cannot stand him just, but he, he tells me he's gonna be here at a certain time and then it's like an hour later. It's weird. It's almost like he's doing it on purpose. That's the way I take it anyway. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's just flipping stupid. Who knows? I mean, he obviously isn't super bright, but man, and they got some new kid driving. I don't think these people have driven trucks before. Like, uh, you just seen the dude pulling in, man. I don't know. It was the same way with that old dude, too. <sighs> I don't know, man. So let's see. I got there, what, at 137? And they didn't get there until, what, 220? 222, and it took him, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> he parked the trailer okay, but it took him a minute to park it. It was just a straight pull through, too. It's real slow, like, you know what I mean? I get it. I mean, being careful, sure. It just it just looks odd. You know, you know how it is when you be first starting out? Well, some people don't ever slow down, but you know what I'm saying? Which is fine. I'm not, like, complaining that the guy doesn't have very much, like, driving experience, but, uh, I don't know. I thought you had to have, maybe you only need six. He wasn't driving like he, like, there's a big difference between I just got out of driving school and I've been driving for six months. I know that six months is not like a whole lot of experience or even a year or even three years, but incremental, incrementally as it goes on, every, you know, that first six months, you're getting way better like every, almost every day. And then there's a big jump between six months and a year and a year to a year and a half. Like you make some pretty big strides throughout that. Your second year to your third year, you start honing in, honing it in too. You're still learning stuff though. I'm still learning stuff. Like I'm still consider myself new at this. And it's been a little over three years now. So, you know, I still get nervous in situations. I'm just saying. The guy didn't seem like he'd been driving very long. Like apparently so. And most of the other drivers, FedEx drivers I encounter, whether or not they're good drivers or not, at least, come on JRR, shoot, get on over, dummy. At least appear to have had some sort, some level of, uh, you know, time behind the wheel. I don't know about these guys. It's, I don't know, man. So I don't know why he tells me he's gonna be there at 1:30 and don't show up till 2:20. It doesn't seem like that's a pretty good. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good guesstimate. And he's done it several times now. Uh, he told me they'd be there at 1:30. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea what they're doing. So tomorrow I'll get I'll aim for two. If I get there at two tomorrow, I'm still gonna be waiting for 20 minutes. So, <laughs> which is good though. I can uh, give me plenty of time to run in the morning, and uh, I just won't get up there till two. I'll leave the house at uh, at nine. Honestly, the best way to do it. shove my days a little later because I ain't gonna get back to the house today until almost seven with it being that late so like I still end up giving up giving away 40 minutes today 50 minutes almost you know what I'm saying kind of BS let's see what time this says I'll get back uh, let's see probably six o'clock Oh, yeah, man. So, that's not cool. Yeah, I'll just show up and flip at 2 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> I keep, how many times have you guys heard me talk about how much later I'm going to show up? I actually showed up quite a bit later today. And it still isn't late enough. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So if I get back six, I'll get home at like, yeah. Won't have a whole lot of time. Hmm. 
All right, so I'm gonna chew on this for a minute. I'll, uh... <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of snacks, so I'm gonna eat my banana. I'm gonna eat my banana, and then I'm gonna eat that protein bar, because I'm flipping grumpy.